Okay, in this section we're going to cover advanced download restrictions. And this is a subsection under S2 member file downloads. And in this section there's no options, this is just documentation. Okay, and this is very similar to basic download restrictions in that the links start out the exact same way. Okay, it's S2 member file download equals the location of the file relative to the S2 member files directory, the security enabled directory for S2 member. Okay, the difference here is that we're going to append an additional variable that will include a download key. Okay, so we add n percent s2 member file download key equals. Okay, now the tricky part here is how we produce the key. In order to produce a key, we need to use a PHP code snippet. Okay, so a requirement for using advanced download restrictions is that you can follow this code snippet example. And you, if you're going to use this inside of a post or a page, you would need to use the HTML editor and you would need to have the exec PHP plugin installed so that this PHP code snippet could be executed and the key could be created. Or you could use this also in a theme file if you like. So if you're using it in a theme file, you can just pop the code snippet right into your theme and have the file keys generated that way. Okay, but in either case, when you create a download link that includes this additional variable with the key, this download link will now grant access to download this file without any regard to whether the customer is even logged in or not. It won't matter whether the customer has a certain membership access level. All that matters is that you pass in a key. When this key is passed in, then that overrides any, other, any of the other basic access restrictions and grants access to that file. Okay? So this is great because it gives you as the site owner the ability to produce these links within your own code or within your own pages or posts and you have full control over how access to these files is granted. Okay, so for example, you might produce these links uh, within inside uh, a conditional that you've written uh, in PHP. Uh, particularly for developers, this gives you quite a bit of control. Uh, if you're integrating SQMR for a client, then this is perfect because you can you can do all sorts of uh, uh, sequences within your code and create routines that output links to files and all based on other conditionals that you write and then all you do is produce the download key and you can grant access on demand. Okay. Now let's take a look at what we would actually do inside of a poster page. If I have the exec P let's switch tabs here. If I have the exec PHP plugin installed, which we covered in a previous video, uh, that's a free plugin available at WordPress.org. It's called Exec PHP. It's very lightweight and it just allows you to pop these code snippets into a page or a post with PHP tags. Okay. Now you have to do this in the HTML editor. And if you put in a PHP code snippet into the HTML editor, you can never go back to the visual editor. Okay. These are incompatible with visual mode. So you would need to do this in the HTML editor. So this is how you would create the link. I would say I would create an anchor tag. Okay. And I would set the hyperlink reference value just like this where I set the S2 member file download equals to, in this case I'm, I'm offering the file S2 member pro.zip which is an enhanced version of S2 member. It's an add-on for the free version. And then we have the S2 member file download key. And I'm going to use my PHP code snippet to produce a key. And all I do is I change this value inside the double quotation marks to match the value of S2 member file download. So in both cases here, both of these variables, I'm going to use the name of the file relative to the S2 member files directory. Okay, now let's take a look at this page. I have it already open in another tab. I'm going to hover over this link so that you can see down in the uh, bottom left hand corner what this link actually looks like. So you can see I have the URL to my installation of WordPress and then I have a query string that starts with a question mark that says S2 member file download equals S2 member pro dot zip and then I have a key attached to it where it says ampersand S2 member file download key equals and that is the security key the file download key that was generated by that PHP code snippet that you see that's a hash. Okay, so if I click this link, I can now download the file and it won't matter. If I click that link, it won't matter whether I, if I'm logged in or not. It won't matter where the file is located in the S2Member files directory. S2Member will bypass all of its level checks. It will bypass its logged in check. If there's a key present, it bypasses everything and it allows the, the, the file to be downloaded. Okay, so long as the key is valid. So how do we know if the key is valid or not? 
Okay, let's take a look back at the download options. And right here is where it details what that function, S2 member file download key, is actually producing. Okay? When you pass in the name of the file to this function, this function will output a hash of an encrypted value that is specific to your installation of WordPress. Okay? And it will encode that value with the current date, the current user's IP address, the current user's browser, and the name of that file that you passed in. So what does that mean? That means that that link will only be valid for that specific customer for one, for, for one day, okay, and for that specific browser that they were using when they clicked on the link, and only for that specific file. Okay, so what this means is that that link could be spread all over the Internet, and there would be no risk of, of it being shared where everyone would gain access to the file because that link is only valid on one particular computer in the world and on one particular browser on that computer in the world, okay? And it's only valid on that particular computer for one day. Okay, each time the, each time the key is generated, it's generated with this hash. So if you generated this file every time a page loads, then that means that the link, the expiration time on the link, would automatically reset every time it's produced. So this date is not really of any major concern. This date really is, is encoded into the link so that if the link were emailed through uh, through email somehow, or you were to send it through email, and if the customer was to click on it two or three months later, that link would, no, would have been expired. And in that case, the customer would get a white screen with a small note that says your link has expired, uh, and invite them to contact customer service if they needed further assistance. Okay, so if you if you'd like to build more confidence in how this function works, you can read this little section here uh, and review it for yourself, and you can see how it actually functions and so that you'll know as a developer or as an advanced user uh, what it is that you're actually producing when you produce one of these download links. And that will help you in, in the ways that you integrate this functionality into your, into your installation of WordPress. Okay, so that's how advanced download restrictions work and that's a very powerful feature. I'm going to collapse this, this panel now and move down to inline file extensions. Okay, in the very next section of this video, I'm going to take a short pause here. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about inline file extensions and what the difference between an attachment is as a content disposition and what an inline file does. Okay, so we're going to cover that in just a moment.